Okay, are you ready, kids? Hello and welcome. This tutorial is produced by PhotoshopIsland.com, your source for fun and practical Photoshop extras, from brushes to complete layer designs. Hello, this is the basic tutorial for the 30 Photoshop brushes and EPS file uh, 2010 calendars. And what I'm showing right here is the uh, final result of what this tutorial is going to be. So let's get started and have some Photoshop Island fun. Okay, let's get to those final results. Now I'm going to make some assumptions here to make this go quickly. I'm starting with a photo that I shot here and I want to end up with a calendar that has this photo on it and an annual calendar on it. And I want the final size of it to be 11 by 14 inches. And um, I need a little space here uh, to work with to add that calendar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the image uh, size here. And I'm going to, uh, I'm actually going to change the canvas size of my image. Right now you can see that it, I've already kind of got this set up 14 inches wide, but it's not 11 inches tall. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put 11 inches in here. And I want to anchor this to the top because I want to add my calendar down to the bottom and I'm going to extend the canvas black um, and you'll see why I'm going to do that in a second but now we have an 11 by 14 so if we wanted to end up with an 11 by 14 print that is uh, a calendar we've now got the right size now let's uh, kind of do a nice design and kind of blend this in so I'm going to pull my layers up here so we can see them uh, separately here and I'm going to add a layer and I'm going to go over here and use the uh, gradient tool. And by default, it, it has the uh, color to transparent uh, selected, foreground to transparent. But that's what you would need to select to do this. And I have the default color selected, which is uh, black and white. I'm going to go ahead and um, use black for this demonstration. So now I have a gradient that is going to go from black to transparent. Now the reason I created this new layer here is so that I have a little flexibility in case I want to change my mind. But I know that I need that um, the black to start black a little bit below this black area that I have created right here. So I'm going to start dragging up and I'm holding down the shift key so I can get a constrained nice straight line on my gradient. And um, I think I'm going to need a little bit more space than that for my calendar uh, so I'm going to go up just a little bit higher and since I did that on a separate layer you can see that we'll be able to adjust that if we need to. Now this is just how simple this is. I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to uh, select white or you could just uh, transfer you could use the switch here the X key to switch the uh, foreground and background color. So now I have white selected as my foreground color. I'm going to go select a brush select the brush tool had the pencil selected there, so I'm going to switch to brush. And then I've already preloaded the uh, 30 calendar brushes uh, in preparation of this. And what I'm looking for in my preloaded brushes is a brush that is uh, six months wide by two months tall. So I'm going to I'm just hover over the various calendar uh, brushes that have been loaded in here. And there's several of them that are six by, here's one that is six by two that's handwriting. I think I want to get something uh, a little bit different to go with this uh, car picture. So let's see, here's a six by two. That's a classic serif bowl. That sounds just about perfect. So I'm going to select that brush, come back and select my document. And I am going to create a new layer to put my calendar on. This now I'm just going to kind of figure out about where I want this calendar lined up. I'm just going to click down once on the brush tool here. And there I have my calendar. And it's pretty much just about that easy. Now what you can do if you want to dress this up just a little bit, I'm going to zoom in so that you can kind of see how nice and crisp this calendar looks. Here we are at 100%. That's, that looks real good. It's nice and crisp. What you can do, because we put this... Uh, on a separate layer over here, this is our calendar layer. Put that in there just so you can see that real quick. Here's our gradient that's at the bottom. If we want to adjust that, we can. 
Now, uh, you can add a uh, drop shadow to that. So I'm going to just go over here to Layer Styles and add a drop shadow. Um, I'm just going to leave the default settings there. Uh, maybe I'm going to just push this on up to black. Well, I, th I think I will change. <laughs> I think I'll change my angle here a little bit. Uh, but now you can see we got a nice little drop shadow to set our calendar off from the background. And, um, you know, if you decide, well, gosh, I, I can't see the calendar very good here right at the top in a couple of places because uh, it's not quite black enough, you can grab the layer that we built our gradient on, and you could either redraw that gradient, or I'm just going to use the Transform tool, Command or Control T, and I'm just going to move that up just a little bit. It is kind of getting into our car a little bit, but um, just depends on how clear you want your calendar to be. I'm going to hit the return key to confirm that change, and uh, now we have a nice calendar. And again, if you if you want to adjust the location of your calendar a little bit, select that calendar layer and just kind of grab that. If you have the um, auto select clicked on here, you'll be able to just click on the actual uh, area where you uh, painted that calendar, and you can just adjust it around. And um, so we've got us a nice little calendar, and uh, very quickly. This would be a great, great way to make a, a gift, a product, or something for somebody. So, And uh, if you like this, you want to learn a little bit more, check out the advanced calendar tutorial that's also available for this product. Thanks. Don't forget to check out PhotoshopIsland.com for a bonanza of fun and practical Photoshop extras, from brushes to complete layered designs.